Hey, John here with a video review of a new iPad app called Downcast. Now, this was originally released on the iPhone, but has recently been uh, designed for the iPad natively. So let's go ahead and launch it here. And as you can see, this is a fully featured uh, podcasting app. Now, you may be thinking, well, the iPad iPod app on the iPad already does podcasting. I can download my podcast. Well, what you can't do with the iPad is actually subscribe and manage your podcast the way you can in iTunes. This app lets you do that. So as you can see here, I have a list of podcasts that I've downloaded and that I subscribe to. And it's really set up in a nice, beautiful player that you can easily manage uh, where you can easily manage everything that you have. So if I want to, let's say, add a podcast, I just go right up here to the plus button and tap that. And I can add a podcast manually or I can search for a podcast. So if I search for a podcast, I can type in something like, I don't know, This Week in Tech and hit Search. And it brings up all the This Week in Tech. As you can see, there is the audio versions, the video versions. So if I want to subscribe to one, all I do is uh, tap on it. Whoops. Oh, it's still searching. Okay, tap on it. And then I just click the subscribe button. And what I can do is I can actually set this up. If I go into my settings, I can set this up to refresh feeds at a certain time I can have it download the most recent I can have it keep the most recent or keep the last two three four five whatever so it's really f very fully functional as far as downloading and managing your podcast collection and it'll download in the background so you don't have to worry about constantly launching the app or anything like that and also it has some really great playback features so if I let's say I select uh, the grid here and I want to play it it'll play normally which is fine but I can also listen to the audio so I just stopped and I can actually pick up where I left off and just play the audio only and I can fast forward by 10 seconds 30 seconds very functional and if I hit play again I can go right back to the video at the exact same spot where I left off in the audio so it's really really nice for that also you can set the sleep timer so you can set it to go to sleep you know however many minutes and start it so it'll fade away turn off your iPad so you don't have it running all night and you can also even tweet and email and Facebook uh, certain podcasts that you want to share with people also you can delete you can mark it as played you can refresh the feed so it'll download the most recent episode. It's almost like having the podcast pane of iTunes as an app right on your iPad. So it does just about everything that the uh, I, iTunes podcast manager does except in a known app. Why Apple hasn't done this yet, I don't know. Hopefully it's coming in a future release of iOS, um, something that's that I've been wanting for for a long time and it's now finally available on the iPad so if you get a chance go check out Downcast for iPad it is $1.99 well worth it so thanks for watching everybody and uh, you can see more video reviews of apps as well as written reviews on my blog at johnberrydesign.net so I'll see you again soon